everyone. My name is Sarah, and today I'm going to introduce you to some hotels. In the last video, I introduced hotels in Gangnam, Seoul. So today, we're going to talk about Hangu. Hotels aren't just places to sleep. They're places to enjoy delicious food, healing places, and nice views to take pictures. In short, a hotel can be called a comprehensive service facility for travelers. The standards for choosing a hotel are different for each person. So this time, to make your choice easier, I will introduce hotels in Kangbuk one by one according to theme. This is the Four Seasons Hotel, where you can walk to Gwangwamun, Myeongdong, and Latte Department Store. It's an indispensable hotel when you're talking about breakfast. There are several types of dressing, bread, cheese, and ham, so you can choose and eat according to your taste. Above all, there are many delicious Korean dishes, such as abalone porridge, doenjang stew, stir-fried squid, and bulgogi. The Novotel Suites Ambassador Seoul Yongsan is close to Korean historical landmarks such as the War Memorial and the National Museum of Korea. This hotel is on the rise due to its rich menu and delicious breakfast. You can enjoy a full meal from simple foods such as cereal, bread, and fruit to fish, dim sum, and rice noodles. Near the Novotel Suites Ambassador Seoul Yongsan, there is also the five-star Grand Mercure Ambassador Hotel and Residences. The Grand Mercure Ambassador also has a delicious breakfast menu. This is the Grand Hyatt, close to Itaewon and Myeongdo. It offers clean and neat Korean food, Western food, and appetizers. Here, you can enjoy a relaxing breakfast on the outdoor terrace, with Namsan Tower in the background. This makes it a favorite hotel for travelers. The view is just as important as a nice breakfast when choosing an accommodation, right? There are hotels where you can enjoy all-day viewing through the hotel window without going to the representative attractions of Seoul such as Namsan Tower, City Hall Plaza, and the Han River. The Millennium Hilton Seoul is conveniently located between tourist attractions such as Seoul Station, Nandaemun, and Namsan. This is a room where you can see Namsan Mountain with Seoul Tower. It's very popular not only for international guests, but also for Koreans. A refreshing forest during the day, beautiful evening view at night. You can enjoy it all in this place. Oh, and next to the Millennium Hilton, there's also the Seven Luck Casino Hilton Branch. This is the President Hotel, right next to City Hall Square. If you stay here, you can enjoy a view of the Styler City Hall building. You can also see a panoramic view of Toksogung Palace, Gwangwamun, and Gyeongbokgung Palace. If you've already seen the mountains and the city, now you should take a look at the Han River, a must-see in Seoul, right? The Vista Walker Hill Seoul, which changed its name from W Hotel, is famous for its panoramic Han River view. As you enter the Junior Corner Suite Room, the beautiful view of Mount Acha and the wide Han River will delight your eyes. With the beautiful sunset hues and enchanting lights shining, the view outside your window will give you special memories that will last for a lifetime. Near the Vista Walker Hill, there is the Paradise Walker Hill Casino, the Glass House, and the Grand Walker Hill, which is renamed from the Sheraton Grand Walker Hill. In Korea, they have a word called hokansu. The word hokansu is the combination of the French words hotel and vacances, meaning to spend a vacation at a hotel. There's something that travelers who enjoy hokansu consider very, very important when choosing a hotel. That is the swimming pool. The Westin Joseon Hotel opened in 1914 and is considered the oldest hotel in Korea. There is a special swimming pool here. This indoor swimming pool is modeled after the shape of a yacht. Here, you can lie in the sunbed and relax, watching the ever-changing sky. This is the princess-style cabana. It's quite a popular spot. 
Here is the Shilla Hotel near the Shilla Duty Free Store. It's famous for its outdoor swimming pool overlooking Namsan Mountain. There's also a screen so you can watch movies. Here you can also eat simple foods such as chicken, beer, and Chinese style beef jjampong noodles. When it comes to swimming pools, this hotel is top class. It features the Banyan Tree Club and Spa, surrounded by views of Namsan Mountain. The outdoor swimming pool, called Oasis, is a gorgeous pool party spot. Enjoy delicious food, sweet cocktails, and exciting music from DJs right here. This is a must-see tourist attraction in Seoul, in Sadong. How do you think you would feel if you were walking down on this street? If you want to end your itinerary while seeing all the skyscrapers of Seoul, we recommend a hotel with a rooftop bar. This is the Nine Tree Premier Hotel in Samjigil, in Sadong. The rooftop, Space O, where you can enjoy the view of Jogesa Temple, is popular among young people. This is a complex cultural space, which is a combination of cafes, bars, and restaurants. Here, you can enjoy a variety of foods, such as Korean and Western dishes, and alcohol. Let your travel fatigue fly away at the Nine Tree Premier Hotel, which has excellent atmosphere and food. This is the JW Marriott Dongnaemun Square. It's right next to Dongnaemun. Here, there is a rooftop bar, the Griffin, where you can see Dongnaemun at a glance. You can enjoy various cocktails, fruit, chicken, and barbecue. This Namsan Tower-shaped refreshing cocktail is an absolute must-try item. Also, you can watch jazz performances while you drink, so why not stop by? This time, let's move to a hot area for young people. This is Hongdae Street, with many clubs and fashion shops. L7 Hongdae by Lotte is located about two minutes on foot from Hongik University Station. Here, there is a rooftop bar called Floating that is great for enjoying the night views of Seoul. Wouldn't it be heaven to enjoy sweet chats and cocktails while a soft breeze blows? What's the most important thing to consider when choosing a hotel? Ah, location, location, location. You should carefully consider whether your lodging is close to a bus stop or a subway station. And think about whether it's easy to get to the airport or tourist spots. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a hotel with great access to all that Seoul has to offer. The Courtyard Marriott, across from Nandemun Market, it's the best accommodation for traveling. It's close to Seoul Station and the Airport Railroad. It's also good for shopping, since the Shila Duty Free Shop, Nandemun Market, and Myeongdong are all nearby. In addition, you can easily access tourist attractions such as Namsan, Gwangamun, Ulgiro, Jeonggyecheon, and Insadong. The Plaza Hotel across from Seoul Plaza is also a hotel with great access to attractions. From here, you can walk to Deoksugung Palace, Gyeongbokgung Palace, Samcheongdong, Myeongdong, and Jeonggyecheon. Today, I recommended hotels in Gangbuk, Seoul by theme. I hope this video was helpful as you prepare for your trip to Korea. Alright, that's all for today's video. Bye!